streams. See that smoke right there? many of you know, I bought this budget 350Z probably like six months ago because I've always wanted one. Didn't really have a purpose. It was either going to be a, it was either going to be like a drift car or road course car. And basically what we ended up doing is we just took it straight to the road course and uh, beat the absolute crap out of it. We blew up the engine, which was a 255,000 miles bone stock engine. It got, it overheated. So basically then what we did is we brought it back. We went to the junkyard. We got a 90,000 mile engine. We put a brand new clutch in it, a brand new coil radiator, put a front bumper in it and some Koenig wheels with some Achilles, like 200 tread wear tires. And we basically took it to the track again and beat the absolute crap out of it. Didn't overheat all day. It's like a track ripper. Essentially what I wanted to do with this was get some seat time behind the wheel of a car before I brought my Corvette back from Colorado, which I did recently. And essentially just get some time on the road course because that's something that I've, I haven't done in like my motorsports, you know, kind of life. I've always wanted to do it. So I did it and this was like the perfect thing for it. The Corvette is currently broken. Uh, one of the cylinder heads, we had an issue with it and I'm actually, I need to still take it off and send it back to Texas Speed. But there is a track day this Friday and today it's, it's Tuesday. We have some parts for this thing. So the last time we were at the track, front left wheel bearing, when you go in the corner, it goes rah, 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 and some of the front suspension bushings are definitely worn out. So our friends over at carparts.com basically sent us a bunch of stuff for the front end of this thing to kind of get it rebuilt and good. I don't know if you guys heard it when I pulled it in, it goes like kr, 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 kr. The diff bushings in this thing are like completely shot. So we also got a set of diff bushings from them as well. We're gonna go ahead and install those on here and then take it to the track on Friday. So the people over there at carparts.com were nice enough to send me some parts for this neglected 255,000 mile 350Z that we, you know, like I said, we've been taking to the track. Carparts.com, go check them out. Great parts at affordable prices. So here we go. We got inner tie rods. We have an O2 sensor because we got a, a check engine light. And if you ever go to buy a car and it has a, a check engine light, the owners are going to say it just needs an O2 sensor. That's it. Nothing else is wrong. So we have the universal check engine light eliminator right there, an O2 sensor. Now we have some rear diff bushings, keep that thing from clacking around in the back. Inner tie rods, outer tie rods, and then right here, check these bad boys out. These are what is probably gonna help the, the car a lot, is the wheel bearing. Because like, when you go in the corner, it goes and it like kinda takes away your confidence in the car. So we have two brand new front wheel bearings, and then we have control arm. So we already replaced one front lower control arm. So we're getting a second one to replace the other. And then these are like the rear front lower control arm. Basically there's like two control arms that go to the knuckle and it kind of does some weird stuff. So uh, the bushings in these are kind of worn and they're a little bit soft. And again, on a track car, you don't want to have any loose bushings or anything like that planking around and basically like keeping you from like giving her the full send because you think your car is going to break. That's pretty much it. I know. Oh, we also have some other little parts too. We have some rear lights. These are not from carparts.com, but the little bumper lights because the ones in here are broken. And then we also have some camber arms. And essentially what we're going to do is just try to camber it in until the tire is the same temperature all the way around. And that's kind of how we'll do the alignment at the track based upon the track. So uh, I'm excited to kind of get back in this thing and ripping it. And uh, you're going to see me ripping in this video. But before we do that, we got to get some parts installed on this thing. The Z is all on the trailer and ready to go. Part of me really wants to clean this thing up and make it look like brand new, but the other part of me just wanna, wants to just keep thrashing it. So again, huge shout out to carpatch.com. I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow. We got an early, what sweetie? Don't hit 
hit it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's already been hit though, look. Is that okay? It's fine. It's fine, okay. That's fine. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys here in the morning in like this next clip, so let's go. All right guys, so had a little bit of an early morning, basically left my house at 5.30 this morning, and now we are at High Plains Raceway, or we're getting ready to pull into High Plains Raceway. I've never been here before, it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere, it's like an hour outside of Denver. I'm stoked to uh, see how it is, see how the Z is out here. So maybe I'll have the slowest car out here today, but maybe not, maybe it'll be like a Miata. <laughs> beer. All right, let's go. Let's go look at this. Look at that. Flap down. What do you got? Z. Koenig fucking wheels on it. Koenig wheels, Achilles tires. Junk Stock wheels. Stock suspension. I got that. Stock suspension. That'll be fun, dude. I'm telling you. It's nice. It's so fun to drive stock suspension. It's got an HR hood on it. You could bump some curbs and just oh, launch yeah. them. Not worry. It's got that KBD Nismo bumper. KBD. You can run. I can run it over. Yep. It's the fender some, might fall got off. Got some nice fitment. So I bought this thing for a thousand bucks. That's insane. Running and driving, had 255,000 You're the only YouTuber on that didn't turn it into a drift car. I know. Well, I have too many drift cars. Like other than Every that. YouTuber has too many drift cars. Except for me, I've got one, you well, know? I just want to do some road course stuff, and this was like the great intro into it, you know? For sure. And then we had an RSX that we took out, and then uh, the giveaway went, we did a VIP giveaway. He picked the RSX. He came and picked that up last week. Giveaway king over here. Your tire's low. If you haven't entered for your chance to win the IS300, you should do it now. Cause I'm gonna enter. Imagine I won. That would be you just won that. Shit. They'd be happy with you. Yo, how much does for me to trim your beard? Trim the beard. How ten, much? Ten grand. <laughs> this dude acts like he can grow one beard in his life. Those taillights are heinous. Oh yeah, they look like little. It looks like that uh, that thing on Ice Age with the. Oh yeah, the sloth. That's on. a sloth. A little sloth thing. Unload this thing. I want to hear it. Oh, you're gonna love it. All right, I, gotta go, I gotta go make sure my car's not overheating. All right, so we're getting ready to go out for the, our first uh, couple laps. What the fuck is this? Okay, cool. Well, I'm ready for something. Whoa. It's definitely not the fastest thing, but no, it's but uh, I mean, it's still fun. Oh, it's a blast! Oh, like, yeah. you'd almost think that it would should be sliding, yeah, everywhere, yeah. But there's even if this thing had slicks on it, like, I could have went in those corners like so much better, you know. Oh, yeah, I know just the tires on it are pretty worn, and yeah, it could really uh, it would it would really like it if it had good tires and oh, then yeah, if it I'm had sure. a better uh, um, clutch in it because right now the clutch is just like. It barely feels like it's even disengaging. Yeah. 219 was the fastest one. To give you ever. reference, I did 219 and a Fiat 500. Okay. There you go. That's the bottom. See, what's yeah. what's cool <laughs> about those is you could just push them like a Fiat 500. You oh, can push to so its absolute limit. like yeah. limit, but rear wheel drive and so it gets a little sketchy. What do yeah. you think is the Evo? It was good. It seemed pretty good. Yes. I uh, I think we're both really kind of like scared of the track. Yeah, uh, well after I passed you, that's when I felt like kind of comfortable, but I still get lost 
between the final corner and like four corners back, they look the same. Sure. And every time I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm at the final corner. I'm like going real yeah. slow because after that one, it goes up, 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 and then it goes into a left. Yeah. And then the final corner goes up, 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 and then down and you're, you could fly through there. Yeah. But uh, I have a, you have a lap timer? Yeah. Can I borrow a couple of like, laps? All mine is is just the track yeah, addict app. Oh, okay. So I just downloaded it, so Five, it shows you that, and then it actually records the video too. Yeah. Oh. So like, and then it shows you like your times, and then you could send me Where yours, you? and we could compare. Oh, cool. Like our lap times. How fast like, are you going on the front straight? Um, 111. Yeah. yeah. Take all your good segments from and, the day Oh, that's really and cool. tell you what, like if you were perfect in every segment, you can that's your theoretical best. You need a uh, I have a mount for my windshield or another That'd be one. Sick. You need a suction cup though. Yeah. Um but I have a spare phone mount that you could use. But it records the lap as well. Yeah, yeah like it'll, video. it'll like it'll either is it this one? Yep. It's free? Yeah. So um, you'll get you could record three sessions for free, but then after that you either have to go and delete them. Or pay. So, or, or pay. It's like, I'll just pay. It's like 19 bucks. Yeah. You got that, right? No, I got you. Yeah, okay. I got you. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not at 8,000 on the front straight, but when I'm behind you, I'm at like 6,500. When you weren't with me, I pushed it a little bit. Yeah. I think it tops out at like 120. Yeah. And I'm just like, eh, 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 eh. But uh, that thing's a monster. It sounds cool. I can hear the turbo behind me. Yeah, you hear that's it, like, uh, like fluttering and just like, <laughs> I can just hear it that's coming up. Cool. So, what do you think about the track? Intimid there's parts you're blind like a lot well, which yeah, I, I always like you're, hate you're like driving off a cliff you're like going you're like oh, oh okay I, yeah I and it's like that. not that bad but I started like because uh, every track's different obviously I started realizing obviously where the curbing is helps like you can kind of see it kind of like tells you and then the yellow poles yeah. for the brake zones you could see them as you get over so you know what side to be on and where to be and just in case you get like turned around in your brain you know Marker. So when you see yeah. the brake markers, count them. One, two, three, brake. Yeah. Or like in six, which is that tight hairpin, right? So you got four, five is the left, six is the tight hairpin. Find something on the track. There's a rubber groove or there's a plant yeah. on the on the right, right? And you're always breaking at that point. And then throughout the day, just push that brake point, push yeah. that brake point. And don't even worry about your top speeds. Because once you get those brake points and you're comfortable That's in those braking zones, though. you start sending it and you'll have to walk the brake zone back yeah. a little, but at least you'll know how to measure yourself on it's that a, track. So I've been talking to this guy Brandon over here. He's in this Alpha Romeo, and uh, he's gonna give me a ride in it and show me how it's done. Brandon, are you gonna show me? Let's do it, man. How to rip this thing? Let's go have some fun. So basically, the fastest lap I've done so far in my 350Z is a 215, and you've done a 209 in this thing. Yeah, first day out. And I feel like these are probably like a similar, like, you know, it's 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 one of the slower probably car, or lower horsepower yeah, cars here. 37 horsepower. Yeah. From a, a 1.75 four cylinder turbo. Oh, wow. But it benefits from carbon tub, so it's super rigid. That's really cool. And 2,400 pounds, so it's very light. Well, I'm excited to see it. This is your first time out yeah. in the car. New car, still has temp tags. Yeah. New to me. Yeah, that's cool. Well, let me, uh, let me throw this thing on and we'll go for a rip. Sure.
awesome. I learned a lot. Good. Just by watching, and it, you explaining stuff helped a lot too. You already talked about it in the cooldown, let you know. I'm not okay. doing Right here, probably. Just so hitting this. So all this track. Yep. Put all that. So what I do is I give it just a dab of brake or a lift, point it, get on it. <laughs> Seems like a lot of fun, dude. It's so like it, fun. it's just like a, a go kart, you it's know. Awesome. Like the famous, the guy who you know, helped with a lot of Lotuses always said, "Simplify and add lightness." Yeah, and it just it is. Once you get the light, it makes it accelerates faster. You don't need a ton of power. Yeah, I definitely want to tune it. There's people running 300 wheel horsepower on this, and that would change. Oh yeah, change it dramatically. Yeah, and even with the with the tires, you know. Like I could feel kind of the, almost the limit of the tires too, but even they gripped really well. Right? For yeah. being like street tires, street you know? street tires, exactly. And it's finding that grip limit. Whatever tire it is, there's a different envelope of grip, yeah. right? And you'll notice a lot of the hard turns where you heard tires squeal. My goal is to have all four wheels slide. Yeah. Because <laughs> the four wheel slide is the fastest way to go around a turn. Hmm. We just destroyed the track record in that Alfa Romeo over there. Actually, no, we didn't. So I rode with uh, with Brandon, Brandon Smith, right? Great driver. He used to have one of them open wheel cars with like the little uh, Ninja 1000 or like the little 1000cc leader bike engines in it. So he's been driving for a little bit and he had that little Alfa Romeo. And the more I looked at that thing, the cooler it got because it's like an engine in the back. It's like a turbo four cylinder. It's got like a manually paddle shifted thing it's a, a dry clutch but it, it reminded me a lot of the r8 but like a little baby turbo four cylinder version but uh, it ripped we did a 207 he it, he showed me where all the braking zones were on the track where you turn in how much to use the track basically what i really learned is that there's a lot more track out there than you think because i wasn't using that much of the track but he was he was really freaking using the track so you can see i was really using these tires too and now they're pretty bald. There's a lot of kind of left turns here. So I'm swapping from left to right. So they're gonna be backwards, but it's not like we're in the rain or anything like that. We're gonna go back out. I'm gonna give Charles the ride of his life. It's 11.10 in the morning. I woke up at 4.45 this morning. It feels like it's like five in the afternoon. And I'm, I'm actually doing great. And so we got the wheels and tires all swapped from side to side. And then we went ahead and bled the clutch in it to make sure that that's good. Feels good, wheels are torqued down. Uh, Tommy is gonna go out and we're gonna drive together. Him and the Pleasure Evo, we're gonna do like three laps and then we're actually gonna come back and switch cars. So I'm gonna hop in the Pleasure Evo and uh, try driving that thing. It's gonna be cool to see like a uh, 400 horsepower all-wheel drive hill climb car. Go rip it. Yep. So I'm gonna drive the Pleasure Evo after this. Oh, really? I'm gonna do three laps in this and then I'm gonna go drive that. Do you wanna ride with me or do you? I need a helmet. Do you have a helmet? Oh.
jacking up the car again. I already jacked it up because we just changed the wheels and tires. But Charles, give me a description of how that clutch feels. So if you guys can tell, it gets stuck right there. Like, like. Ugh, it's, it's just not nice. So check this out. I need a lander there. I brought some brake fluid, but check out this jack stand that you gave me. Uh huh. Pretty sure this is one of the recall ones. From Harbor Freight? From Harbor Freight. Remember the big one? I do, yeah. So we have a Harbor Freight jack and we have this thing. Oh, was it that black one I'm really glad that you had a jack stand and a jack. Yeah. Maybe we'll, we're going to use both of these. Because I don't trust either one of them. Yeah, it sounded, especially if you could hear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys heard that, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they literally sounded like they were maxed out that white building. <laughs> you guys got that thing high enough? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, we got to bleed the clutch. Oh, are you? Bit. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. How about you? Doing good. What are you driving today? Uh, I'm driving Connor's GT3. Oh, nice. Yeah. That thing's cool. Oh, Did you hear that sir a little bit ago? What's that? That sir? No. You didn't hear that? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, where someone yelled sir? Yeah. Oh, totally. We were standing there because Connor and whoever the guy is riding with him right now, coaching him, uh, we're standing there and someone, like, it sounded like a woman. <laughs> what was that? Do you know what that was? That was me. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally standing over there and we're like, what the fuck is it? Did it? We all were like, what the fuck is going on? No, I was, I was on the side of my truck and I just peeked over and went, sir. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, we were standing there just like, everyone was like, did you guys hear that? And we, were, we were so confused. That was good. So Charles, everybody's basically been telling me to get rid of this thing. So everybody's been telling me to get rid of the Z. They're like, oh, it doesn't make sense. You don't need it. It's stupid. Just sell it. Like, and I had, I listed it with the whole shop sale and I literally had like 10 people that were like, I want to come buy it right now because the price of Z's are high and they're going up. I don't know, but it's just such a good car that like, it's great to get in and just learn and just get all the seat time. And like if it goes off track, if it goes out in the woods, like it's not really gonna break that much stuff. If you do, it's cheap. It's not like you're out here in like a Porsche or like an R33 GTR that's like impeccable, like immaculate, or even like the Evo wagon where you spent all the time. Like this is literally like the like the like the track missile. Right. Well I feel like this this car has its merits. Like it has yeah. it has its own it has its own merits. Like it's it's just it's it's good at being a thrash car. Exactly. And that like if if I pulled it in the shop tomorrow and I said, hey, Sean, let's put a, a show car pin job on it, he'd probably be like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. But if I leave it like this and I just take it to the, the track, I drive it, I let my friends drive it, like we just have a good time with it because that's what it's meant to do, really. If we want to put an angle kit on it or if we want to go drift it, let Jamie drive it, do whatever, it's just such a good car and it would be hard to like, for the amount of money that I have in this thing, it'd be hard to get that much fun anywhere else. Right. Especially now that we know about it. Like, we put a low mile engine in it, we have the the radiator and the clutch and all that other stuff. Now we have some more suspension, we've got updated stuff, we've got good bushings. It's just a good car. It definitely needs a couple more things, like the dual mass flywheel I think is going out. I think I'd need a new slave cylinder and probably maybe some different clutch fluid or something because it seems like the clutch kind of gets weird after a while. Mm -hmm. And an oil cooler, but like literally you could just take this thing to the track and just beat the crap out of it and drive it on the trailer at the end of the day. Or even drive it home at the end of the day. Drive it you know? home, yeah. But yeah, it's just, it's just you know, it's kind of one of those cars, you know? And it's like, yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but like it also almost doesn't make sense to get rid of it. Like, like there's other cars I'd rather sell before this, Yeah. you know, because it's, it's so much fun. Trevor's selling everything. It's all junk. Get rid of it. Don't the ice giveaway. And uh, don't forget to enter for your chance to win his pearl black. Dude, it looked black in the pictures. It is black. 
It is. Well, it, it's black with a blue pearl over the top of it, so it flops from purple to black to blue. Well, so don't forget to enter for your chance. Help Trevor clear up some space. You need to have a fucking tag sale. 20 we did. 20 times entries till Sunday night. Whoa. 20 times entries. Just giving them away. Just giving them away. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to hop in that uh, R35 right there and drive into the sunset. See you guys later. Hi right, guys, so the people over Wait, at carparts.com. Sorry. sorry. Hold on. Three, two. You know what we should do? We should do a, a challenge. I've always wanted to do this. This might be the perfect car for this. Viral video, here we go. Should I say it? Towing a car without straps. Like how long will it last before it falls off the trailer? But do it at the racetrack. Like how long? No? Okay. Um, Is that a good one? I don't endorse this content. Well, I don't want to do it on the public streets because I don't want a 350Z in somebody's bump like in somebody's like bumper. Nobody'd like that. But like if it happened on the racetrack, it might be okay.